Hi everyone. Welcome to Rain, Rain or, or Shine, Shine Story Time. And today we are going to read the story, the quilt story. Kildaring. Yeah, by Tony Johnston and Tommy De Paula. We love Tommy De Paula's books. He has written Strega Nona and so many others. Um, he drew the pictures in this story and Tony Johnston wrote the words. Now this story is um, about a little girl and her quilt. And right now we have Aria wrapped up in a quilt that her great-grandmother made her when she was a baby. Should we show everyone your quilt? We'll hold it up. Here's what it looks like. And her grandma made her this quilt. And on this quilt, it says, let's see if you can see it. Stitched with love for Aria Brady by great Nana Sandy Ryder, December 2016. Wrap around me. It's a, it's a special quilt. Anyways. Should we read the story, the quilt story? Yeah. All right. Let me read this book. A little girl's mother made the quilt to keep her warm when the snow came down long ago. She stitched the quilt by a yellow flame, humming all the time. She stitched the tails of the falling, falling stars, and she stitched the name Abigail. Abigail loved the quilt. She wrapped it around her in the quiet dark and watched the winter skies. Sometimes she saw a falling star. You see the falling star? Yeah. Sometimes Abigail played in the woods near her home. She had tea. Her dolls had tea. And the quilt had tea all over it. What happened? What? Um, tea spilled. The tea is spilled. She had it all over her quilt. Sometimes she pretended the quilt was a gown. She wore it to town on her horse. Clop, clop, clop. And it tore. So her mother stitched it up once more. Her mother's using a needle and thread and she can fix the holes. Sometimes she played hide and seek with her sisters. Where is she? She laughed and cried, don't peek. And she hid under the quilt and everyone found her. Sometimes Abigail was sick. She sneezed Achoo! and sneezed. Achoo! Then she slept under the quilt and she felt better. Do you have a quilt that you sometimes sleep with? Yeah. One day Abigail's family moved away across wide rivers and over a hard rock hard trail. There they go. The quilt went too. Not stuffed in trunks with the blankets and clothes it kept the little girls warm from the wild winds, warm from the rain, warm from the sparkling nights. They built a new house in the woods. Abigail's father built it with his hatchet. Chop, chop, chop. He built her a new bed. Chip, chip, chip. 
He made her a new horse, too. He worked until curly shavings covered the floor, and everyone sneezed, hachoo, and said, welcome home, and was glad. And Abigail felt sad. Wow. Why did Abigail feel sad? I miss her new home. Oh, yeah, she's probably missing her old home, huh? Wow. Well, sometimes when people move, they miss, they miss their old home. Even though they love their new home, they still miss their old home. New house, new horse, new bed. Everything smelled of fresh chops and chips. Everything but the quilt. So her mother rocked her as mothers do, then tucked her in, and Abigail felt at home again under the quilt. One day when the quilt was very old and very loved, Abigail folded it carefully and put it in the attic. Everyone forgot it was there. A gray mouse came and loved the quilt. Her babies were born on top of it. They grew fat and gray in the warm stuffing. When they got hungry, they ate a falling star. A raccoon came and loved the quilt. She dug a hole in a corner with her black paws and hid an apple there. Can you find the apple? There it is. A cat came and loved the quilt, a patchwork cat. It rolled on the stars and stuffing spilled out like snow. Then the cat curled up in the snow and purred. called a little girl. She found her cat and she found the quilt splashed with patterns of sun. The little girl wrapped the quilt around her and she loved it too. Oh. I bet that quilt felt so warm. Can you make it like new? She asked her mother. So her mother patched the holes. She pushed fresh stuffing in. She stitched long tails on the stars to swish across the quilt again. One day, the little girl's family moved away across miles and miles of pavement and snaking gray highways. They found a new house, freshly cleaned, freshly waxed, freshly painted, white. Hello, I'm a child. I'm a, I'm a old. My elbow. Is your elbow okay? Yeah. Yep, there's the, there's the children and there's the mommy and the daddy. They unpacked and unpacked all night and everyone sneezed on cardboard dust Hachoo! and said, Welcome home, and was glad. And the little girl felt sad. She felt sad. Wow. Why, why was she feeling sad? I um, miss her new home. She, missed her, she misses her old home. Oh. Everything smelled of white paint and boxes. Everything but the quilt. Mm. So her mother rocked her as mothers do, then tucked her in, and she felt at home again under the quilt. Mommy, what? Mommy, mm -hmm. that, that food? Oh yeah, that looks like a cat. Yeah, that does look like a bowl of cat food. Oh, and there is her quilt. Mommy, where apple go? Where'd the apple go? Yeah. Hmm, maybe the raccoon ate it. Mommy, mommy, where my 
五个。Should we say thank you for reading a story with us? And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.